सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ मोशन ट्रैकिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग डोनट एंड गाइस सी दैट्स माय वीडियो क्लिप राइट सी गाइस दैट्स रियली गुड दैट्स माय कंपोजिशन विद यूजिंग जियो ट्रैकर ऐड ऑन गाइस डोंट वरी इज फ्री ऐड ऑन एंड गाइस आई शो यू माय फाइनल रेंडर आउटपुट सी गाइस दैट्स माय फाइनल रेंडर प्रीव्यू एंड गाइस गो टू ऑन आफ्टर इफेक्ट एंड गाइस सी दैट्स माय फाइनल रेंडर Yeah, it's looking really good. See guys, that's my really realistic render. And guys, now I teach you how I create this type of effect. So guys, stop and go to on here. See guys, that's my only video. See, that's my only video, and that's my with donut. Right? It's really simple. So guys, now go to on file, and guys, I create new project. and guys go to on blender and same i create new project okay so guys firstly select your cube and light and delete see guys that's my only camera and guys set your camera angle so guys rotation i take 90 and all zero and see guys that's my location and z1 zero and y minus 10 is good and z1 i like one see guys that's my camera angle right Okay so guys now go to on here and see guys that's my geo tracker add on and guys create new tracker check and guys import your clip so clip import clip guys you can download this clip link in description and guys camera check yeah see guys that's my clip so preview check yeah right okay so guys now this time firstly i apply some objects for tracking so guys see that's my cone shape So guys, I use to go to on mesh and use cone, yeah. And guys, select go to on here, align on here, like this. And guys, scale size change. So guys, go to on here. That's my wireframe, yeah. So closer, guys. I go to on zero frame, actually one frame first. And guys, align. So guys, go to on here, yeah. And guys, now. Select edit mode. Select this one and scale size change like this, right? And guys, go to our up. Yeah, right. See guys, that's my cone. Yeah, it's good. Right. See guys, that's my shape. And guys, next one. This time I create this shape. This one. Okay, so guys, again go to on here. That's my face, and guys, click on here. So guys, select this one and press E. Guys, that's my extrude. So extrude check, and guys, this time select this one and holding Alt key and click. Yeah. So guys, extrude. So press E and S, and guys, create shape like this. Yeah. Right, so guys, that's really simple. And guys, now go to on local and click local axis. So guys, go to on here object. Actually, guys, edit mode. Select this one. That's my scale and scale size change like this. And guys, press zero camera. Yeah. Okay. So guys, now go to on object mode. Guys, little bit rotate. So see, guys, that's my rotation. Little bit rotate like this, yeah. See guys, that's my shape. And guys, again go to on edit mode, select wireframe, and guys scale size change, scale size change like this, yeah. Much better, guys. Now, little bit down. So guys, go to on here, little bit down. Yes, right. See guys, that's my simple shape. And guys, now select this one, and guys scale size change, scale size change, and guys E a little bit down. Yeah, that's it, guys. See, that's my shape. And guys, go to on here, press zero camera check. Yeah, right. See, guys, that's my object. And guys, now select this one, add it more, select, and little bit up, little bit. Little bit more, yeah. 
Now it's not full frame modeling, it's only rough layout. Okay, so guys, now all is good. So go to our here, geometry and click on here, cone, cone check. And guys, see that's my reanalysis check. And press OK. Yeah, see guys, that's my analysis. Okay, so guys, my analysis is good. See, right? And guys, now go to on here. See guys, that's my geometry. Guys, I create point. So guys, start pinpoint check. Yeah, see guys, that's my rough layout. Right, see? That's my rough layout. And now guys, I apply points. Guys, I add more points for best tracking. So guys, click on here and click. And guys, I apply points yeah and guys go to on top guys i apply top point on here so click here and guys also apply points here like this guys i apply point on corner right it's really simple yeah it's good and guys also on here this side yeah see guys i apply points this one right see guys that's my tracker points and now guys go to on camera here camera check and see guys that's my tracker and check guys i create tracker points see guys that's my tracker points it's automatically tracking yeah and guys click on here track back check Yes, right. See guys, that's really simple. Guys, my tracking is finished now. Go to on here, exit pin mode check. Yeah, and guys, click on here and see guys, that's my tracker. So guys, play. See guys, that's my camera tracker. Right, see, that's my tracker, not object. So guys, stop and guys, go to on camera and preview check. Yeah, it's really simple. See guys, that's my camera tracker. And guys, now, you can apply any 3D model on this tracker. So guys, go to on here, file. Guys, I already download Donut 3D model. Guys, you can download link in description. So Donut VFX check. And guys, select and append. Guys, go to on collection. Select and append check. Yeah. See guys, that's my Donut. And guys, now select, go to back. And guys, see, that's my Donut. Right click, select object and make smaller like this yeah it's good right so guys go to on more smaller and smaller change size change guys press zero go to on here align and guys rotate this 3d model rotate like this yes and guys align on here Go to down like this. Yeah, it's good. See, guys, that's my object. Right? It's looking really good. See, guys, that's my composition. Right? Okay, so guys, my composition is good. And now, guys, this time I apply change render settings. So, guys, render second check, device G2 check, and guys, max M1024. Enter. And guys, see that's my film. And see that's my film transparent check. Guys, I create PNG transparent file. Yeah, so go to on here. See guys, that's my frame rate. Guys, this video on 25 FPS. So I use same FPS check. And guys, I will change render setting. So guys, go to on here. And I apply SDRS texture. Open. Yeah, and guys, now select this one. That's my cone. And guys, click on here, object. So guys, I create shadow effect. So go to our visibility. And guys, see that's my shadow catchy check. Yeah, and next one, guys, I apply this time light. So guys, go to on add and light. I use sunlight. So guys, go to on here and up. So closer like this. And guys, now select your light. Go to our here. Guys, strength I like 
2 is good and angle 20. That's for my beautiful shadow and press 0 and guys click on here render preview check. Yeah, see guys that's my beautiful composition. It's looking really beautiful. Right, see that's my realistic view and guys now you can also change this one cone some settings so guys press 1 and guys press 1 yeah okay so guys go to on edit mode and see guys that's my this one object guys select this one guys I change here that's my last edge so closer yeah and guys so use local and go to an up like this yeah and guys go to an object press 0 yeah so guys one more time render preview yeah much better see guys that's a beautiful composition it's looking really good right and guys preview yeah see guys that's my final animation see that's my final work and guys now Go to our here render setting and denoise check. Yes. See guys, that's some beautiful composition. And guys, now go to on here. Guys, I create only one frame render. So guys, go to on here. Render image check. Yes. See guys, that's my final work. Final PNG format file. And guys, now go to on here render setting. Here. And guys, see that's my output. So guys, I create new folder so like a new folder and take any file name like a one so guys see that's my file format i use this one that's my video and guys go to on encode so use quick time and video code i use qt animation check yeah and guys see that's my rgb alpha right okay see guys that's my one more time file format i use video and color RGB alpha and guys see that's my end code quick time and video code I use QT animation yeah that's it guys that's my final render setting and now guys go to on render and render animation check yeah see guys that's my render and guys now I use this time after effect for composition so guys stop this render and guys go to on after effect guys import your footage guys see that's my footage and import yeah see guys that's my footage and guys now i have already created render so guys see that's my render see guys that's my render file that's my video clip so guys press ok and simple drag and drop on main com like this yeah and guys preview check yes see guys that's my beautiful composition and guys now you can also change color correction so guys go to on here and adjustment layer check and guys use curve tool and sharp tool curve select and guys go to on here adjustment layer guys brightness little bit up contrast change yes okay so guys it's beautiful and guys preview check yeah okay see guys that's my final composition it's looking really good so guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And guys, you can download this project file from my website. It's free link in description. Thank you.